One of the more interesting composites to find the area of is the classic Valentine's Day heart. Now, to get some measurements on here, I actually only need one from the way this picture is drawn. I'm going to tell you that this distance along here is going to be 8 units. Let's actually call it 8 inches, so we're not working all only in terms of just unit. We'll actually have 8 inches along that side. So our goal is to calculate the three areas and add them all up, which will provide for us the composite area. Because that's ultimately our goal with this. So, I have two half circles to kick this problem off. One of the things to think about from the way this is drawn, if this distance is 8, that means I have a radius of 4. So since that radius is 4, I can calculate that area. Now there are two ways you could look at this. You could look at it as two half circles. Remember when you do a half circle, you have to find the area of one circle and divide that by two. In this case, I have two half circles, which is the equivalent of one circle. So the area of the two half circles will be pi r squared. So plug in pi times four squared is gonna give me 16 pot. Now, I have an option here. I could say, well, each of these has an area of 8 pi square inches, or I could say that these two half circles added together have an area of 16 pi square inches. It really doesn't matter either way because I'm going to end up back at that 16 pi square inches. Now, when I want to take a look at this square, here in the middle of my picture, well, again, I know the area of the square. I could talk about that as base times height, or I could talk about it as side squared. Either way, it's 8 by 8 at 64. So when I add my two half circles together, half circle plus half circle for 16 pi, plus the square in the middle of my heart, I'm looking at a total area of 64 plus 16 pi square inches. And there you go.